Abdullah is a, a new member of the maternity care team in, in the United States. When I say new, I mean she's been around for 15 or 20 years. Although in ancient history, women always were surrounded by women during the birth process. So the doula is sort of a modern version of what women always had uh, until about 1950. The doula is a trained, experienced woman who most of the time gets to know the couple ahead of time, learning what their uh, special ways to relax are, what their fears are. We arrive in labor when the women ask us to and stay throughout. We don't take breaks except to go to the bathroom. So we can offer continuity, no shift changes, etc. We stay right through until after the baby is born. There's many, many advantages of having a doula. And I believe the biggest advantage is helping the woman feel more secure during labor and delivery. She oftentimes is scared and is uncertain of what's going to be happening. And having somebody that's going to be with her the entire process where she doesn't have a shift change or other patients that she needs to attend to, this person's going to be with them from the start to finish. They know when things are normal. They have ideas to help speed labor along, have ideas to make it more comfortable, and are just like an anchor for her to help her relax during the process. And oftentimes when there's fear involved, the body reacts to that fear as if there's danger in the environment and so it tries to stall the birth and and that can create a more painful birth, a longer labor, uh, a host of other problems and so when a woman's able to relax and just allow her body to work naturally without that fear then it, it's much easier, it's more memorable and so I think having a doula there, the, the greatest benefit is just that sense of security. In my experience with healthcare providers and their acceptance of doulas, or in the beginning it was a, a little bit of, you know, okay, who's this person and they're coming in and, you know, are they taking my place and, and that type of thing. But once they got the feel of the doula wasn't an adversary, that the doula was there to relieve to some extent some of the, the things that they needed to do, they started seeing them as a, a commodity. You have some hospitals who've requested doula programs and hire doulas and pay them and want them to be there because they know the benefits and they've seen patient satisfaction. They want that and so they ask the doulas to come. I teach something called doing the next best thing and I think women need to be able to make choices along their journey of labor without the fear of any judgment. And so most women, if they're supported and they've done the preparation and they've chosen the right care provider, they're going to be able to birth normally and naturally about 87% of my births in the last two years have been natural. The reason why I chose a doula was because this is my third child. At first, I didn't really know what to expect at a birth, but I did know that I wanted to go natural and be able to walk around and, and do what I want to do to have the baby how I want to have it and not people telling me how I have to have my baby. For my personality and, and me as a person, I just wanted someone there that can kind of, you know, guide me and help me, almost like a mother. Simply by addressing emotional needs and needs for physical comfort, the doula has made differences in obstetric outcomes. There have been at least 15 excellent trials comparing doula care with usual care. The women who had doulas had shorter labors, they requested medication less often, and they weren't being kept from the medication by their doulas, but they just didn't see the need to ask for it. They had less need for interventions like uh, Pitocin, which is used to strengthen the contractions. The labor progress seemed to be going better. They had lower cesarean rates. Their babies were less likely to have to go to the neonatal intensive care unit. And uh, breastfeeding at six weeks was found to be much more prevalent among women who had had a doula with them during labor. So the effects of the doula at this very vulnerable time in the woman's life when she is uh, about to become a mother but also going through the throes of labor, if her emotional needs are met, that carries over even for weeks later. Mothering the mother, looking after the mother, meeting her needs enables her to meet the needs of her baby. Many times moms think that they are going to need some help because their husband or their partner might not be able to be exactly what they need. Many times husbands and partners are perfect. And then a job of a doula is just to be a voyeur with a camera. And sometimes the dad will look at me and I will smile or nod and let him know that this is all normal, this is all good. And he's at peace again at being exactly who he needs to be. But it also takes a lot of pressure off the dad. So 
we partner. I wasn't sure how my husband was going to be as far as a, a partner in the room. Not that he's not a great husband because he is, but I think when you see your partner in, in pain or distressed, people react differently. And it worked out really well because she was there, but yet she didn't take over my husband's position. She let him be my husband and it just worked out really well. Having a baby is a very important part in your life and it should be a good experience. Sometimes the unknown can be scary or it can be uncomfortable. And so I think educating yourself as much as possible to when you do have a birth, it can be how you want to plan it and how you want to do it. And I think doulas have a big part in that. They let you realize how strong you are and how you can be and that you can have the birth that you always dreamed about or the birth that you feel more comfortable, whether it's medicated, whether it's natural or in the water. This is my third child and um, I would not even consider having one without a doula. So I think if someone wants to have the birth that they've always dreamed of or wants to have that experience that's not always like a medical setting, I think a doula would be wonderful. There was no other option for me not to have it again. There are a lot of pieces to the pie. It's not just about having a doula. It's about the education. It's about the baggage that you carry to your birth. It's about your care provider. It's about where you're giving birth. It's a lot of things. The thing that women need to know is they already know how to birth. They just need to learn how to trust their bodies. They need to learn how to listen to their instinctive voice. And I think surrounding themselves with the voices of women who have gone before them really makes a difference in their labor. And I think that's what a doula does. 